Good morning, everybody. Good to be with you here on a Friday. Grain markets have been spicy. Let's get into it here. December corn up 10 and a quarter at 584 and three quarters. You've got November beans up 21 and a half this morning at 13, 13 and three quarters. Wheat has been up nine. Equities are also a little bit higher this morning. It has just been an everything rally this week. Uh, let's get into some charts. This was posted on Twitter by at BJ Split. This is not my chart. This is by at BJ Split from Twitter. Um, you've got the 2013 December corn contract in red. You've got the 2012 contract in green and the 2023, our current contract in white. Here we go. Flip a coin, place your bets. Are we headed north or are we headed south? Super interesting chart on how this is tracked. And now we're at that fork in the road. Want to get in a little bit closer here on the December 23 contract. Okay, we're a dollar rally off of the lows. Fantastic. 55% of that rally, excuse me, 55 cents or 55% of that rallies happened this week. Now, we were arguing a few weeks ago that this thing was looking a little bit extended to the downside. What I did is I measured how far the low was from the 50 SMA. That was about 10.5%. Now we got to flip it, okay? We're about 10.5% away to the upside from that 50 SMA. You gotta, you gotta ask yourself in the near term, all risk to reward, are we a little bit extended? Okay, if you were saying that on the down move, you should probably be considering that here on the up move. We have that white trend line as well, just to kind of show how far away we've moved uh, from any sort of trend line. Now, granted, are there new sellers coming into the market here? Probably not, but you have to ask yourself too, who, who's gonna be buying and opening new contracts in here, especially ahead of this three-day weekend? Again, this market can certainly continue higher. We're just trying to say that it looks maybe a little extended here in the near term. Going over beans, $2 rally off the lows. I got a typo in here, $1.09 this week. So another 50% of that has happened this week. Now here, what's interesting again is 10.5% drop from the 50 SMA when we said things looked extended. Now this up move is only about 6% away. So maybe we have a little bit more room to go. You'll notice if we go back, here real quick, corn hit that 100-day moving average up at the 580, 590 area. Beans, 1334, 1350, certainly an obtainable target. It would be a similar move to corn and get you a 10 and a half, I guess, percent away from, from the SMA. So again, a little bit extended in here. Have a plan. Risk to reward. Favor some risk off. But again, this is not a bearish call per se. Okay, the markets can continue higher. We don't know what the weather is going to do. Wanted to just show you the picture here of how things can happen. This is your August cattle chart, fat cattle. Again, bull trend for sure. You don't have much of that selling pressure when you look left like you do on corn and beans. But the point here is to show you the extension. Eventually, you just get too far away. You have to come back. Doesn't mean that the bull trend is over. You just have to be smart about where you're making some of your decisions. That's all we're trying to point out in here. <clears throat> Look, guys, if, uh, if, if you want to subscribe to our report, we've been taking a lot of action these last couple of weeks, uh, both with sales decisions and with some long ideas out there. So we have a two-week trial down below. Feel free to uh, sign up for that. And our subscribers will be back here with you over the weekend to, uh, to give you an update. Otherwise, we will talk to you guys here on Tuesday. Remember, the markets are closed Monday for Juneteenth. We hope everybody has a good weekend and we will talk to you all again soon. Don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks.